All right, welcome back YouTube. Finally, we're at the point where we're going to be putting the manual transmission into the Beamer. It took a while, but I finally got all the parts, everything I pretty much need. And uh, so transmission, obviously, first thing you need, tranny. Um, next thing you definitely need is the undercarriage for where this sits underneath. I already put the uh, transmission bushings on. There was only a bolt, size 13, very easy. You're obviously gonna need a drive shaft because the drive shaft I believe is longer because the transmission is shorter than the automatic one. And obviously your clutch plates. And I would get an entire kit where you get everything pretty much in it. Comes with tool. Uh, the other thing that I did is on this side I did the throw out barrier, did the fork all new. And then the only other thing I pretty much did is on this side I put the slave cylinder in I bought a new one so I put this one in with the new line I bought a couple other parts I bought the hard line to this that goes into the car but first while I'm still clean I'm gonna go inside of the Beamer and we're gonna take out the automatic top part to it so let's get to that and for anyone else who's just starting like I've had mechanical experience before I've taken out a transmission before do it actually a slave cylinder or an inside one on a Toyota but if you're starting to this and you want a little help, I'm gonna tell you these Haynes manuals are absolutely awesome. They give you all the information. But with that, let's head inside. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get rid of all of this automatic stuff. So what you can do is just grab this by the um, leather sack, I guess, and pull straight up. What you're gonna do, and then what you're gonna do is just all these electrical connectors, you're just gonna grab them, pinch them and pull out. And that'll be your connectors for your windows, for the window safety switch, all this. And then we're going to get into all these screws, like these Phillips ones. And I'll be using a uh, power tool because uh, I think turning wrenches, while we have power tools, is kind of silly. So we're just going to pull these out and then pull this main one out. And like I say, you just grab them, pull them, and that's pretty much about it. And we're going to get this all started. Well, they say you get a good idea to pull this straight up and out but I have to watch a couple videos and see what people say on that but yeah it's pretty much from what I got so that's what I'll be doing I'll show you guys when I'm all done with this so so far just so far just to recap this one I just pulled it came out it's connected to this connector these two I actually because I don't have fingernails I got these special pliers with little tips on them I just grabbed it, pulled it out. They come right out. Oh, jeez. Thank you. All right. Next, I'll be doing the Phillips screws. I'll probably put them in the cup holder just to have them sit there and go from there. I'm also probably going to grab the key and put this in neutral. So that way, when we take off this back part here, it won't be in the way. So I'm going to go do that as well. Well, that was a pain in the butt. So with the automatic one, all you do is press this in. And then I just twisted and turned and it popped out. But man, that was a lot of twisting and turning. So hopefully I'll never need this again. But it'll be going for sale. And we can pull this out now. Yep. And hopefully I'll never be needing this again. Cool. So next, the screws. The flashlight. There should be a couple of them in there. And uh, go from there. All right, so once you get those two screws out, it's gonna lift up on the back side here. It's gonna come out. We're gonna do these window switches. And this connector, just push down on it. Just come out, should. And we grab a screwdriver, take that one out, and we can remove this entire top piece. Cool, top piece removed, we'll put that off to the side. And now we can get in here and undo these two screws next. And pop the center tray out, and probably disconnect the uh, cigarette lighter. So same thing as we always do. I think I need to teach anyone how to unscrew a screw, but... Oh. 
and then, like I said, save all of them. I just put them in the cup holder. I'll do the next one. So after that, next we have to uh, remove the top part here. There should be two little screws up here. We're gonna have to grab a uh, screwdriver of some sort and uh, take those out. And then we should have this all come out in one piece. So I'm gonna get a mirror and check that out real quick. So my first little head scratching mistake I ran into is when you get to here and you try to pull this out, there's two screws in there. You can't really see them. I was trying to get them with this. And I watched the video and someone just says, grab this and pull it out. What? So if you're not sitting here scratching your head like I was, just pull out your sun uh, sunglass cover off the side and the two Phillips bolts are right there. Well, well live and learn, right? So once you get that, one, uh, put it in neutral. You can flip this upside down. You can start taking cables out. So we can take one off with a cigarette lighter and start taking all these cables out. So we can get this out of here. So that's out. Cool. These all have little clips on the bottom, so just pull them out. But like I said, I'm gonna need two hands for this. And also probably the oh hold on. Uh, maybe this or something. I pull them up, okay. The other side has something like that. Yep. So this one you just grab on the sides here and here. We pull it in and this should just come right out just like that. Beautiful. And now we can remove this entire thing. Once we obviously remove two other things I missed. So we'll get that out of the way. We'll get that piece out of the way. Put that off to the side. And now we have a great giant cluster of spaghetti wire. Cool. So once we get to that, we're gonna pull this wire out. It's just gonna come right out like that. And then we have to remove the, I believe this is the steering clutch, so a 10 millimeter bolt right there. And we can just pull that right out and we should be good in terms of that. That was this little plastic grommet. We're gonna pull this off, undo the connector here. We're gonna have to get to that link. I'll show you guys how to pull that off. So we got so we got the 10 millimeter bolt out, put in the coupler here. And then we can pull this little uh, tang that it sits on, also put it in the cubby here. And this should... Oh, there we go, look at that. Ah, then we just slide that over to the side. Out it comes. Cool. So that's good and dandy. Now we're going to have to lift up the car because this one is actually goes to the gear selector underneath. It's going to be a size 14 millimeter bolt. So we have to go underneath the transmission and disconnect it so we can pull this out. And we're going to use, we're going to have three of these bolts, T30s, I believe, or T40s, they have to pull out. So other way, we have to lift up the car, and we're going to have to uh, disconnect that. So let's lift it up. So next, we're going to lift them up. BMW has these amazing little rubber grommets on all four sides that we could put the uh, heads of the lift on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lift up the car, get the transmission, disconnect that 14 millimeter bolt. So, we got that cover off, and to my surprise, the automatic gasket, I guess, is leaking. So we're actually doing this thing a service by uh, cleaning it up. Yep, there it is, so we're gonna have to do that. And yes, I know everything's oily. I gotta do the oil pan one day, just not today. But, yep, and then we're also gonna have to remove said exhaust, which I'll have to heat those nuts pretty good. Stop it, get some help. And uh, probably remove it to get out of the way of the trans shimmin. And uh, we'll start with that. Anyway, I found that nut. It's right here. 14 millimeters. We just got it disconnected so we can pull it all the way up through and good to go. All right. Well, I was lied to on the internet. It's actually a 13 millimeter screw. Ah! And now we're going to pull this out so it can just slide right out. Out with the. Oh, there it is. Cool. And now that should just be free to go wherever the heck it wants. So we'll get that out of there and uh, go from there. Alrighty then. So now that we got rid of that, let's see if that works. I'm going to grab a T40 uh, hex. And we're going to see if the guy on YouTube will redeem himself for telling you that 1314 live. Of course, it must go deeper. 
three more so on second thought because I can't find three of any bolts we're gonna remove these three bolts which should be a 10 millimeter and this whole thing should just come out Every car is a little different. So let's remove these three. And I believe there's one up here. That makes a three sequence. Okay. Slipped. This whole thing should just remove. Yep. Along with that cable with the grommet that we've undone down below. So we can pull this out all the way. And that's the pin. So cool. Automatic stuff out. And we'll probably take this grommet. And uh, ooh, we'll also have to clean out all that. Well, that's actually on top of the transmission, so maybe it should be all right. But I'm going to plug that hole with this grommet again. I'm going to slide it forward and plug it in. Cool. So the grommet's back in. And uh, it is all free. So we can move on to the next thing. All right, so next we're gonna probably jack up the car since we have it on the lift and start taking out the actual automatic transmission. So let's get to that. All right, so before we even decide to touch the transmission, we're gonna have to get rid of this exhaust. These bolts are size 15. I'm just gonna heat them up till they're really, really hot and then pull them off uh, because when you live near salt water, heat's your best friend. And uh, all the other bolts have to come off. This one, we have the two that are blocked in here and the rest is kind of just held, held on by uh, rubber grommets. Like this, we can just pull these out very simply. So we'll get the exhaust out. Oh boy, that was exhausting. Now I'm exhausted. But Oh, terrible joke. But we got this thing off and now I was thinking, well, if I already have this thing off and I have to get it off anyway, I mean, I might as well just order the one I want. I'm gonna put it all back together. I might as well have the one I want. Might as well do the headers as well. So. Next thing we have to do to reveal this drive shaft that's behind this heat cover is uh, go around here and take off these little, what look to be 10 millimeter bolts all everywhere, revealing the drive shaft that we have to disconnect before we drop the transmission so let's go around and take all these off all right i pulled off the cover and what the f is that Fuck! Ugh. anyway so revealed is the drive shaft we're gonna have to remove these two bolts for the center coupling uh that should just pull out and then we're gonna need to get bolts uh the inverted torx i do four of them there i would leave it in neutral so you could spin it freely as i did because I planned that and it didn't just happen by accident. You tried it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. You know what size those are in just a minute. Once I uh, figure out what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna have to find actual stuff like that. So let me get those first. All right, so I got the uh, T-Jack here holding the back end of this. We're gonna have to pry that or hit that with the hammer to loosen it up. And then these two bolts were 12 millimeters holding onto the center shaft. And then that will just slide right out. So let's do that and put the uh, automatic shaft on the ground and go from there. All right, so I got pretty much everything squared away, but the shaft is still stuck. So I have the T-Jack holding up there. I'm gonna have to release these two bolts. One right here, one right here, they're 19s. I think that one maybe, and that looks like a 12 or 13. So I'm gonna try to get that off and see if I can release the shaft from here. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. All right, so we remove this back bracket, two bolts here, size 21. These are all size 13s. And you have this small cover on one side that's just two of these little like eights. And everything just comes off and now we can take the shaft out. All right, so over here we're pretty limp. And uh, over here I tried to push this out from the back here with the uh, 
crowbar doesn't really want to go so we we'll have to pull these three nuts off the uh, gubo and hopefully gubo gubo the rubber pancake and hopefully get this entire thing out so this is probably going to be a size 19 and probably the other side too so there's only three of them the ones that are in black and then we should just be able to take the shaft out so i'm going to try that all right so automatic shaft is out bolts are back in spot cool and now we're at the transmission part but before i jump the gun on top here or more importantly i should say up front here there's something called tranny cooler lines and uh basically it well there's the little case right there for the tranny cooler I, i'm gonna undo those i'm gonna leave the tranny cooler on because otherwise you have to change the whole radiator and i will eventually but for right now i'm just gonna take the lines off and uh go from there so i'm gonna take off this uh plastic front cover to get to that and then remove the line so when i get to that after i take this cover off i'll show you guys so here's the automatic tranny line and cooler so i have to take these off these have these little white tabs which i'll show you the tool i'm going to use you have to stick it in there and spread them apart and they go to the upper part of this transmission which i'm thinking i'm just going to remove this shaft uh with just the inverted torques they should be the same ones that go on the rear shaft back there so i'm going to take this off just to get more clearance into there and take them off basically you take these white things and you slide them in here and you press as someone turns this and uh this should relieve the pressure for the hose we got one clearly uh, we're gonna try to get this other one and then hopefully that'll drain out and then from the other side they lead up to the transmission and they're up here via just a 10 millimeter bolt which will be the easiest one to do and then we just pop these out and then we can start uh lowering the transmission which would be nice i don't know what the hell that is but oh, i guess i'm gonna just put that in there we gotta remember to take that out so cool we're making headway Just so everyone knows on the front side of the car when you're doing this before you do it there's a little rubber black grommet in there i know you can't see but you pop that off and there's three 17 millimeter bolts holding on to the torque converter that you have to remove before you take the transmission off because we spent a good like hour thinking about that finally found a video on it so make sure to do that prior because uh, otherwise it's going to be very hard to do so see you guys tomorrow day two of the electric boogaloo sun's out i'm gonna try to get the uh pedals in today and then hopefully put the manual transmission inside but we'll see how that goes so uh, i'm gonna push the car forward all right so i'm in the trunk i'm gonna disconnect the battery because to put the pedals in the lights are gonna be on i want to kill the battery so we're gonna get to the battery which for anyone who doesn't know is actually underneath on the passenger side underneath this uh, plastic cover right here so 10 millimeter take off the negative terminal all right so up next is the pedals i got the gas one and the braking clutch we're gonna have to remove this carpet but first i'm gonna clean all this crap out so i'm not laying in it all right so we gotta take the uh, carpet off so first we're gonna take off these little screws and take this top part off so you get more room back there because you see a bolt we'll remove this so one two three the pull tang and then I think there's one twisty one over there and we're gonna pull that top part off. And uh, yeah, do that. I'm also gonna be listening to music because uh, I guess the YouTube nuns don't like it when you play music on videos. So yeah, I'll show you guys when that's done. All right, so now we have to take out the OBD. For the OBD lock, these pins in here, you have to pull them out. So these you have to pull out pretty much like this. You have it on the ground, you pull your screwdriver in here, and you pull these out like that. And you can slide it up forward to get the OBD out of the way. So. Okay. Take a look at this some more and let you guys know what's out what I find. So all you pretty much do is go on the other side and just push it up, and it just pops out of the hole. Okay, so now we got everything out of the way, we're gonna take out this Phillips screw to the hood latch. 
and we're gonna pull this entire plastic piece off and reveal the carpet. And then there seems to be one more Phillips screw underneath that latch that we have to get to. So in order to get to that, what we have to do is go under here and pry up on the plastic clips to get to the Phillips piece off. Cool. Now we should be able to get to this. So let's see. Yep. Like that. Let's see here. Is it connected to anything? Nope. But we are going to have to disconnect the trunk switch. Which will be our next endeavor. Yep. Okay. Let's try to get that one. Pull that out, a little trunk switch right there. A blue one. Right there. Alright, so next we're gonna have to disconnect that backing plate right there. So where that silver one is, two bolts, one there and one up here. And there should be one straight above, and we're gonna disconnect that uh, electrical connector and hopefully pull this brake pedal out. So so three bolts 13 millimeters you get it out and then you just have to slide off this pin here to the side and it pops right off and so what I did is I took the brake switch from the old one because it already fits to the vehicle I don't see why it wouldn't work now I'm gonna get rid of this gas pedal and we're gonna pull this carpet back cool cool so for the clutch pedals this line that we have back here attached to it is going to go through this little x up here if i can get the camera to point there the little thing next to this one up here or it's right there next to the booster and there's going to be a grommet on the other side we're going to push it out feed the line through there and attach it to back up here so i'm going to do that and show you how it's done all right guys so after moving this a couple times remember when you get your extra pin put into the back of the uh to your pedal back there and then what we're going to do is pull the carpet back and this is going to snake along a path and i'll show you right now and that's going to pop out over a grommet and i'm also going to show you but i'm going to need two hands for this so hold on So in there is a little grommet and we're going to pop that out and push this red thing through to get to the bottom of the slave cylinder for the transmission. And also make sure that your other hose goes through the upper to the master brake cylinder up there. So we're going to pop that through, the screwdriver, the grommet, and that line is going to run through there. And in fact, you can see that it already has a groove cut out on the back of this for this line to run in, so that's perfect. So we're just gonna push that through right now, and uh, it'll be on the bottom side. As you can, as you can see back here, the hose is in. Had to drill it out a little bit because for some reason they didn't want to make the hole big enough. Now it should be at the bottom of the transmission where it can connect to the slave cylinder. So I'll put this carpet up, and uh, we'll start getting it with the transmission. All right, the pedals are in. All the connections are where they're supposed to be. You have to cut out a little extra thing for the third pedal, but there's a there's actually a cut me out on it. So you just took a Dremel and whizzed it out so we're all good here just now it's trying to lift it up and uh transmission the hell out of it attach everything up. well guys the uh the pedals are in uh tranny's still not in because we were checking on the shaft and uh surprise surprise the gibo on that shaft is like three sizes too big so that's not gonna work so i'm gonna have to order that and uh all right day three after work o'clock I just got rid of the transmission lines and the cooler. It's a pain in the butt, but you can stake them out from the front here. Still a pain in the butt. I'm gonna probably plug those off. But now 
Let's take off the uh, automatic flywheel because we're getting close to putting the transmission actually into this car. So, right here. Looking like a 19 socket. This will probably reuse. Now this is the rear main seal. We're gonna pull these off and I have a new one we're gonna be replacing it. I'll try to get that on. So look to the bottom two are 13s. And the top are 10s. Alright, cool. should fit in because the whole should align and they do nice
Ciao. Remember your seal? Done.